here in Porto at the World Congress was about how to work with children with past life therapy. And what we did today in the workshop is that I uh, brought out the clay. The, the workshop that I'm presenting at this Congress in Porto is Mind in Survival, Body in Starvation. It is inspired by severe cases of eating disorder. And I had everybody get into uh, groups of three and one was the therapist, one was the client or child, and the other was the observer. And I had them start to work with this storytelling technique using the clay. So they each one had an experience in their small group of going very deeply into things like uh, some went into past lives, some went into birth, uh, some went into childhood trauma, and they had a sense of the clay was actually pulling them in to the experience. And they all felt the power of the clay. And they all got a sense of watching the person who was the client go very deeply into something just by manipulating clay and the therapist making figures that reenacted something that they were bringing up. I have noticed that girls who have these eating disorders are bothered by intense past lives of various uh, polarity themes. There is power and there is abuse. And there is the knowledge I'm strong, but it may turn against the person herself. People who are too big, that's another eating disorder, they eat wrong or they eat too much or both, have a tendency to cover their pain because in, in their past lives what you find often is starvation, uh, seeing the bones, the skeleton of your loved ones. They starved and you'd never want to see that again. They get a tool or tools that they can take back to their private practice to work with children and they can feel confident that they would be able to work with this. And I think a lot of them need that confidence and I think this one gives them a very concrete way to do therapy with children in a very simple way. It's not really complicated and that's what I really want. I want to spread this out because I want therapists to work with children more and that's kind of been now my passion to do that. These students who will visit my workshop hopefully will um, will sense that there is experience speaking and the honest wish to come as quick as possible in a series of sessions to the core for this kind of clients. And when the students and the colleagues who visit my workshop um, hear what I do, I hope that I can give them something that they haven't seen yet. I think it's, it's very satisfying for me to see when people learn something and they make these connections and um, put together things so well. And so that's very satisfying for me. I enjoy that very much.